Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to briefly talk about how I learned all my CSP cases. So, in this video, my main objective is um, to have you come away from it with an understanding of how you can go about learning um, a big set of information, which is CSP. And the first thing I wanted to cover is a good resource for learning it. So, what I used is a CSP with mirrors document. Um, it's a really good document, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, the CSP with mirrors document is really helpful because it has little notes under each case in it um, that kind of have little tips and tricks to help you understand the cases. So as you can see here, um, we'll just take this barrel case, for example. It has different notes underneath it to help you quickly memorize it. And there's other cool, like, mnemonic devices, I guess I should say, um, that are featured throughout the document as well. So I found it really useful and I would definitely recommend it. It'll be in the description if you want to download it. Also, this is good if you're not even learning CSP and just want to find good cube shape algorithms. So I would highly recommend this for beginners as well. Uh, so the next thing about CSP that is kind of a challenge at first is setting up your cases. So if you're trying to set up cases, it's gonna be difficult um, for one. Two, it's going to be hard to just randomly gen it on ZS Timer. So the site I would definitely recommend is called Squanmate. So on Squanmate, you can set single cases, you can set a whole set of cases, or just any number of cases really. Or if you have a bunch of difficult ones, you could combine them all into one, and then it just randomly gens a new scramble of that same cube shape if you want it to. It really does whatever you need um, if you're trying to work on a difficult case. It's just really helpful, and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, the other thing that's cool about Squamate is it has its own document. So if you don't like the CSP with mirrors document, then the Squamate document is really good too, and I'll link that down below as well. And separately, I wanted to cover uh, pretty briefly that Sam Fang, or Cubemaster on YouTube, has a YouTube playlist on CSP cases, and I find it really helpful, but I've had mixed um, feedback from different people that used it. So I would say that you should try it, but um, I don't really know exactly how reliable it is. It is really good for a bunch of cases, though. So if you're having trouble kind of figuring out the document, I would recommend checking out his videos. Also, this is a side note. I will be covering PBL a lot later in these videos, and Sam Fang has a really good playlist about PBLs, 2CP PBLs, full PBL, and that's really good. So just definitely check out that as well. Um, anyway, yeah. So I want you to enjoy these next couple solves, and then I have some examples of how I learned CSP cases. And by the way, this average is an 8.69, um, so it's okay, but I just kind of recorded something um, to have in the background. Okay, so for this portion of the video, I'm just going to go over how to memorize um, pairs of cases. So for example, in the square set, which is pretty much the easiest one, there's two cases that have three slices, and one is the mushroom or muffin square, and the other one is the shield square. So both of these are really easy. If you're learning CSP, you should know how to solve them. This one goes like this, and this one goes like this. So they're both really easy. And the even alg is what you call the good alg, um, but it's actually just the good one, like the the quick three slicer, like that. And then the odd is the same thing for both of them. You just do one slice, and then you do one more slice, add an extra slice, and then solve it. And you do the same thing for both of those. So since they're pretty much the exact same, you'd memorize them together. This is another larger example that I found, um, but when you get to the last three sets, the um, left and right 5-1 and 4-2 cases, the opposite are all good. Um, so for the first two, which is pair and L, they're all good, and that's all you have to remember. And then for the last set, the line set, they're uh, similar is good. So this may seem very confusing, and I'll explain it in a second, but that's just one um, tip that I use to memorize a bunch of information. So instead of memorizing all of these different cases, which I believe would have been, I think, 16, I was able to just, sorry, 8, um, I was able to do it in pretty much like 5 minutes. So this is just some of the cool stuff that you can do. Oops. 
So this is a very distinct trick I used to memorize cases, and basically goes like, if I count odd, then I associate odd as being right, and if I count even, I count, I associate even as left. So for example, let's take a case like left for two pair. So let me just step that up. Actually, let's take um, right five one pair. So it's right, and I, I know that if I'm going to trace this, I'm going to get even, and that means opposites. And as I just said in the previous clip there, that for these cases, um, opposites is good, and this would be opposites for me, so I know I can just do one slice into scalp kite. So this, I know this seems a little bit too confusing to be viable as a way to memorize cases, but for me, it really worked, so trying to come up with these different ways of memorizing stuff is really important. Also, there's something I'm not sure every document has, and I don't know if you can see it, but over certain cases, there's it's color-coded to be light blue and then pink or dark or red, and that's on some cases, some specific cases, and whoever made this added it and create a cool little way to memorize these, and so that whenever I think about like where to hold different pieces and their orientation, I can just think of this. So doing stuff like this on your own or using my document um, is really helpful because you can use these different like hacks to memorize cases. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.